Hi, I'm Scott Neubauer. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Biology here at VCU. And we're out today at Cumberland Nature Preserve, which is a tidal freshwater marsh preserve on the Pamunkey River here in Virginia. Now, tidal freshwater marshes are a lot like tidal salt marshes you might be familiar with in that they have a regular daily tidal cycle, but we're far enough up the river that we don't have salt up here. And that brings us to what our question is. We are interested in the future with sea level rise and changes in climate and precipitation. What happens once salt water starts to come up into these wetlands that have historically been freshwater? So we have a crew out here today and we're gonna be looking at, we're gonna be collecting some soil and looking at the microbes that are in the soil and the processes that they are carrying out. And also some, we're gonna be collecting some water from that soil to look at the pore water chemistry to see how those changes in microbial community and pore water chemistry are affecting what's happening within the marsh itself. So we have out here an experimental system. You might be able to see the solar panel and some barrels out there. And what we have set up here is an experiment where we are pumping river water. We're mixing it on that platform in those barrels with a very concentrated salt solution. And we're spreading that onto plots in the marsh. So instead of working in the lab with small volumes of soil or plants, we're working out here in the marsh. We're adding salt water to the marsh out in the marsh itself. And then we're looking at what happens to the marsh in this natural setting. As you can see, we're now out in the marsh and we have a couple of students and technicians. And then we also have Daniel and George, our postdocs. They are working on getting our coring devices together so that we can get soil cores out of the marsh so that we can do the molecular and the um, biogeochemical assays that we're gonna do on these soils to see how those are responding to the saltwater intrusion. So we're back in the lab with some the samples we collected out in the field. One thing we did when we came back last night is we took the soil from these bags and we wanted to put them into bo these bottles without exposing them to oxygen because one of the key features of wetlands is that once you get below the very surface of the soil, there's no oxygen. So we have very different microbial processes that are happening in wetlands than happen in upland habitats. There are actually microbes that eat iron, which is really cool. So now you have a brief taste of the kinds of things that go on in the wetland biogeochemistry lab. Out in the field sometimes, well often it's dirty, it's hot. We sometimes see a bug or two, but we're outside in the sun, we get to go canoeing, we get to play in the mud, and it's hard to believe, but this is my job, I get paid to do this stuff.